Hello everyone. Uh, again, I am speaking about the Governor Airport and Power. Of course, you already know them. And I wish to again revise it and then apply this for the calculation of uh, Governor Airport and Power for a, a Porter Governor. How to calculate? Probably I shall take uh, a numerical which I have already sent to you and uh, I shall be solving uh, that problem also, a numerical problem. Okay, as we, you, we all know, effort, effort means basically a force. Okay, so governor effort, that means governor force. Governor force, okay, force where? Force at the sleeve, okay. So we have the sleeve force is varying, that is why I, I am going to, I am interested in knowing uh, what is called as the average force. Okay, the average force acting at the sleeve, okay. So why the force, whenever the force acts on anything, then that part is going to move. Similarly, when the force acts on the sleeve, the sleeve is going to move. So when the sleeve is going to remain in a constant position, whenever the speed is constant. If the speed is changing, the sleeve also will change the position. Say from one equilibrium speed to another equilibrium speed, the sleeve will move from one position to another position. Okay, this is what is going to happen and when the sleeve has to move from one position to another position there must be some force and that force we are calling it as the average force. The average force acting at the sleeve, acting at the sleeve to change the position of sleeve from 1 to 2 whenever the speed changes from one speed to another speed. This force is called as governor effort, very simple. And so for this change in the position, naturally there is a sleeve displacement and whatever is the product of governor effort and sleeve displacement, this we call it as the governor power. Okay, so now with this background and I would like to apply it for the quarter governor, I hope for quarter governor these, uh, the expressions are quite familiar to you, to omega square, we are doing it uh, after quite a long time, I just wish to revise quickly the, the expressions uh, what we used to have while discussing the quarter governor. Omega square equal to d by h mb plus ms by 2 into 1 plus k divided by mb. I hope this uh, formula, this expression is familiar to you. Then we also have one for the sin alpha is equal to r minus r c u divided by m u. Then sin beta is equal to r minus r c l divided by m u. And then tan alpha is equal to r by h. I hope you all still remember these expressions. And so we are going to have these expressions we are going to use them so now also depending upon the position say if it is in the first position then omega 1 then h1 then k1 etc alpha 1 beta 1 okay like that if it is in second position then according to omega 2 h2 etc alpha 2 beta 2 like that if it is minimum position then that so some terms are going to vary depending upon the position therefore these terms are associated with the position of the sleeve and some terms like this MB, MS, okay, RCU, RCL, LU, LL, they don't change with uh, the position, they are independent, they are going to remain constant, okay. So keeping that in mind, okay, I shall take up the problem, I shall read the problem, I hope you have already read it, but anyway, I wish you to read it along with me, and so that we can write out the data, and then, then try to solve the problem. Okay, the problem goes like this. This is a paper question which has appeared in December 2010 and it is for 10 marks. <coughs> the upper arms of a court governor has length 350 mm. Okay, so let me write down the data. So it is LU 350 mm. And now uh, Devoted on the axis of the rotation, therefore RCU is 0. These arms are devoted on the axis, therefore RCU is 0. 
The lower arms have lengths of 300 mm. L L is equal to 300 mm. And are attached to the sleeve at a distance of 40 mm from the axis. So this 40 mm is nothing but R C L. This is 40 mm. Okay, the lower collar radius. Then each ball has a mass of 4 kg. So Mp is 4 kg. And and sleeve is 45 kg. Ms is 45 kg. All these values are independent of the position of the sleeve. Okay, now determine the equilibrium speed for radius of rotation of 200 mm. The first thing what is asked in the problem is if R is equal to so let me treat this as one of the position. If R1 is equal to 200 mm, if R1 is equal to 200 mm, then find what is the speed, what is L. So L in our expression is being represented by omega. Okay, so this I am calling it as R1, the corresponding speed, I shall call it as N1. What is the value of N1? This is the first thing what is asked in the problem. And also find the effort, okay. Number two, what is asked is, what is the effort? Sometimes this is being represented by E. So what is the effort? And the power. And the power of a daughter. How much are these? Okay, whenever you are asked the effort and the power, definitely make sure that you are always given two positions. Two positions, two speeds, two radii, etc. They are given. Okay, then what is the other position now? For 1% speed change. Okay, right now it is, uh, okay, what RPM? Any RPM? Oh, we are supposed to find out. So, N1. N1 is the speed that we have to find out for R1. And 1% change. 1% change means 1% decrease in speed or 1% increase in speed. And we shall do it for? Say 1% increase. So I shall assume that the sleeve will go up. So therefore, the third position, third thing, what is the ask is, is N2. N2 is 1.01 times N1. So it is not third one, I can say. So this effort and power when the speed changes to 1.01 times 1% 1 more, 1% more than N1. Okay? So, whenever effort and power are being asked in a problem, make sure that always you will have two positions. Okay? So, one equilibrium position, I can call it as position 1 and position 2. Okay? So, position 1 and position 2 information must be given in the problem. Okay, whenever we need to solve such problem, before I really go to this specific problem, so I, I shall say that these are the steps in general you are required to go through. Okay, so what are those steps? Not necessarily in the order, okay, depending upon, okay, I shall write down and then explain what I mean by that. What is that? Equilibrium analysis. Equilibrium analysis. Analysis is a very big word and what we really do is we write down the, we write down the moment equation and simplify. And in fact, in our quarter longer, we will be using omega square is equal to g by h into bracket mb plus ms by 2, etc. That is the equation. Equilibrium analysis for position 1. In short, I should put it position 1. Write down this analysis equation and probably substitute what all things you know and you will have one unknown thing and that will be fine and probably the second one an imaginary position imaginary position okay this is a special position that we are going to imagine what is that position okay what is that speed is speed for second position Speed for second position 
बट एंड स्लीव फॉर फर्स्ट फॉर फर्स्ट पोजिशन द स्लीव हैज नॉट चेंज इट्स पोजिशन दो द स्पीड हैज चेंज ओके देन देर मस्ट बी सम फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन इट स्लीव फॉर फर्स्ट पोजिशन विथ extra force with the extra force on sleeve this is the condition this is the situation which we are going to write down and for this we write down and moment equation and then simplify and probably doing that we get what is called as effort in the process we will be able to find out the effort and the third one equilibrium analysis equilibrium analysis for position 2 okay depending upon the problem what is asked you may have to go through all the three and then make use of all the three whatever you find out and in determining what is asked in the problem <coughs> sometimes only one of them may be sufficient if you are asked only a one probably only second case is sufficient and then you don't have to attempt the first case and third case or sometimes all three may be required sometimes only two may be required sometimes only one may be required depending upon what is asked in the problem i hope you understand okay so now coming back to the problem so before asking the effort and power you are asked to find out the first one what is that you have been given the radius radius 200 mm and you are asked to find out what is the speed okay this is not relevant for this present is discussion but this has to be found out and this kind of problem have been done plenty of problems have been done already anyway let me go through the first one okay what is the expression so i know that omega 1 is square i am not going to solve it i am going to demonstrate the method and you need to substitute and get the the exact answer what is asked okay omega 1 square is equal to g divided by h1 into bracket mb plus ms by 2 into 1 plus k1 divided by mb okay so what are things we know so let me find out so g h1 okay h1 i suppose for it now k1 you yeah, you know that it is tan alpha 1 sorry not tan alpha 1 k1 is tan beta 1 divided by tan alpha 1 i need to find out alpha 1 so i know that sin alpha 1 is equal to r1 minus r c u divided by l you know r1 you want to know r c u is 0 l u you know 350 mm and you can simplify and from this you find out what is the value of alpha 1 so many degrees similarly what is sin beta 1 sin beta 1 is equal to r1 minus r c l divided by l so substitute the unknown the known things and find out what is called as beta 1 degrees okay you know r1 to the power of r c l is 40 mm and this is a 300 mm and you know all these values simplify and get sin beta 1 and take the inverse and then that is how you can find out beta 1 okay so then you can find out what is called as k1 that is nothing but tan beta 1 divided by tan alpha 1 so you know this value now okay this is mb is known ms is known mb is known k1 is known okay now let me find out h1 what is that tan alpha 1 to r1 divided by h1 okay so you know r1 already from this so r1 is known to you and from this from this you find out what is the value of h1 probability okay so now everything g is 9.81 so if you are going in meters okay then carefully substitute let the all the things be in meters and then simplify this And you will get omega one square. Take the square root. You get omega one. So many radians per second. And from that you express what is called as n one. So many RPM. 
This is the first part, very simple and quite uh, familiar because we have already done these kind of things. So now N1 is no more unknown, so N1 is known thing now, N1 is known thing. Okay, so now let me go to a second situation. What is that second situation? I would like to find out the effort and therefore I shall go for an imaginary situation. What is that imaginary situation? Okay, second. So imaginary situation. Because in, in the governor this situation is not going to happen. What is that? The sleep. Governor is running in the second speed. Speed corresponding to second position. But the sleeve is in the first position. This is not going to happen really. We are making it. Okay. How we are keeping the governor's sleeve still in the first position. Though the speed has increased. How we are doing it? By imagining, by applying an extra force on the sleeve. And let that extra force be what is called as Emax. Okay, imaginary situation. What is that? Speed. Speed equal to N2. Please remember N2 is what? 1.01 times N1. So therefore I know N1 and therefore I know this. And this you can easily convert it into what is called as omega 2. Omega 2 is known to you. Okay, and what is the sleeve position? Sleeve. Where is sleeve? Sleeve is in the first position. First position. What is the extra force? Width, the extra force which I call it as E max. Let E max be the extra force that is acting on the screen. So, average force E is the effort. E max divided by 2 is what is called as the governor effort. Okay, so now let me make use of this. So, where is, okay, what is the, the speed now? What is the speed? Speed is N2. Therefore, omega 2 square. So now, 1 upon, what is this? Is the height of the governor? The height of the governor corresponding to the sleeve, sleeve position. Sleeve is in the first position, therefore this is H1. So 1 by H1. So why I didn't write G? G, I want to take it inside because I want to add some force to the sleeve. Okay, so normally if I write G here, I should be having only ms, it is only mass, I cannot add a force to the mass, but I can add a force to the weight. So ms into G plus something I want to write, that is why I want to take G inside. So therefore, it is mb into G. So 1 upon h1 mb into G plus ms into G plus E max the whole thing divided by 2 into 1 plus K K corresponding to the sleeve position the first position K1 1 plus K1 divided by Mb you cannot buy have this formula or anything you have to properly think and then write here I have written 2 here I have written 1, don't buy heart it, don't please, why I have written 2, why I have written 1 here, why I have written 1 here, that you understand, that is most important. Okay, so now what all things I know, I know omega 2, because N2 is known to me. Okay, N2 is 1.01, N1, omega 2 is known, this is known, the left hand side. So H1, so in the first case, very first case, previous case, tan alpha 1 is equal to r1 by h1 that h1 is known to me h1 is known then mb is known g is known ms is known g is known e max unknown that is what i am going to find out ok 1 plus k1 tan beta 1 divided by tan alpha 1 in the previous case what we have analyzed that also i know mb i know so that means in the whole expression of e max is only unknown substitute all the things simplify of course, with proper consistency in the units, and then you find out what is called as E max. E max is equal to so many newtons. Quite simple. Of course, it will take few minutes to calculate. You substitute carefully, that is what you have to do it. Okay, then you find out what is called as the effort. 
governor f of t is equal to d max plus 0. Why 0? The moment the sleeve reaches the new position, the sleeve will not move. Therefore, the force vanishes, the force becomes 0. So I started with E max. The E max is the force at the beginning of the movement of the sleeve. And by the time it reaches the new position, it becomes 0. E max plus 0 divided by 2. This is nothing but the governor effort. Then what is governor power? Governor power is equal to effort multiplied by the sleeve displacement x12. The sleeve has moved really from position 1 to position 2. And this also, a similar expression I had written is the expression for any sleeve displacement x1 into, I had written it. What is this? This is nothing but LU cos alpha 1 plus LL cos beta 1. LU cos alpha 1 plus LL cos beta 1 minus LU cos alpha 2 plus LL cos beta 2. If I do this, I will get what is x1. And that substitutes that x1 to here and you get 4. Okay? But I don't know. I, I know what is LU, LL. Okay, I know. Alpha 1, beta 1, I know. I don't know alpha 2, beta 2. So that is why I have to go through one more analysis. What is that? The, the third one, equilibrium analysis for position 2. That I have to carry on. Okay? So now I shall leave it here. This is now. So then how to find out alpha 2 and beta 2 of that I shall demonstrate. Then once you find out alpha 2 and beta 2, substitute, get x12, substitute here and get power. Then how to find out alpha 2 and beta 2? Alpha 2 and beta 2 are the angles corresponding to sleeve second position. And therefore, that is what I shall go now. The third one, third analysis. The analysis, equilibrium analysis for position 2. I hope you understand now why I have taken in general the three steps. Okay, equilibrium analysis for position 2. Position 2 of what? Of sleep. Okay, so now let me write down what is the equation. What is that? Okay, omega 2 square. Second position, therefore second speed. Omega 2 square. Okay, this is equal to G divided by H2. D with you. G divided by H2. P into bracket. MB plus MS by 2. Ns by 2 into bracket 1 plus a2 divided by mp. Right? This is the equation. Okay. Then, now let me simplify this or let me take I shall learn. Okay. This h2 is unknown, k2 is unknown. Okay. There is a lot of unknowns. I would like to express this equation with only one unknown. Okay, I am going to substitute now. Okay, so G as it is. And what is H2? In general, what is H? We know that tan alpha is equal to R by H. So tan alpha 2 is equal to R2 by H2. So H2 is equal to R2 divided by tan alpha 2. Okay. H2 is equal to G divided by R2 divided by tan alpha 2. I am taking to the numerator. Okay, this. Next. This MB, which is in the denominator, that I shall take it outside and write it. Okay, so this MB as it is the first term. Then I shall expand it here. It is plus MS by 2 into 1, that is ms by 2, plus next ms by 2 into k2, 
Okay, maybe in the next step I shall substitute tan beta 2 divided by tan alpha 2. Okay, so now I shall go for the next one. That is G. I shall multiply each term. G into tan alpha 2. Okay, so G into tan alpha 2. What is tan alpha 2? Okay, I can. Oh, so I, I shall multiply. So G into tan alpha 2 divided by R2 into Mb multiplied by Mb. The first term. So here Mb and Mb cancels. Plus the next one G tan alpha 2 divided by R2 Mb into Ms by 2 into Ms divided by 2. Plus next one G tan alpha 2 divided by R2 Mb. This is the term. I am multiplying it with Ms by 2 into K2. What is K2? This is nothing but tan beta 2 divided by tan alpha 2. So tan alpha 2 and tan alpha 2 cancels. Now I would like to substitute. Okay. So I shall substitute. This is the next step. Okay. G divided by R2. G divided by R2 into tan alpha 2. What is that tan alpha 2? Tan of. What is alpha 2? Alpha 2 is sin inverse of R2 minus RCU divided by LU. Of course, in this problem, RCU is 0. RCU is 0. Okay, I can substitute. Or maybe next step you can substitute RCU in general. Tan inverse of alpha 2. What is alpha 2? Sin inverse of this. Sin inverse of this. Plus G in, into Ms. I shall postpone it. This 2 by R2. G into Ms by 2 into R2 into Mb. G Ms 2 R2 Mb okay into tan of alpha 2 tan of what is that sin inverse R2 minus R C U divided by Mu okay this term is also now coming to the next term what is that G into Ms divided by 2 times R2 into Mb this into this, 2 times R2 into Mb, multiplied by tan beta 2. What is that? Tan of, what is beta 2? Beta 2 is sin inverse of R2 minus RCL divided by L. Okay, now check. How many unknowns? So omega 2 square left hand side that I know. Omega 2 is known. Okay, this is known. G R2 is unknown. R2 is unknown. R2 is unknown. This is known. This is known. Okay, R2 is unknown. R2 is unknown. Okay, R2 is unknown. R2 is the only unknown. Okay, so since the equation has only one unknown and solve it, it is very easy to say. Okay, very simple to say, but not that easy because I am dealing with tan of sin inverse of etc. etc. Therefore, I don't think you can expect any usual method, conventional method of solving this and getting what is the value of omega 2. Uh, sorry, R2. Therefore, you have to go for trial and error method. Go for trial and error method and find out. How to find out the trial and error method? I Sir, try with the different value of R2 and check what is the right hand side and what is the left hand side. Check whether they are equal or not. Okay. So, I know what is the left hand side. Okay. I just wish to mention you how to go ahead. So, LHS, you find out what is omega 2 square. That is not true. 
Okay, now trial one. I shall call it as trial one. What is that? So probably I can try R2 is equal to. So now it has moved more than 200. Okay, for position one the radius was 200. Now it must be more, and therefore assume trial one R2 is equal to say 210 mm. Assume R2 is equal to 210 mm and find and find RHS. Then compare this LHS value and the RHS value and if you are lucky, if they are exactly the same, then R2 is equal to 210 mm. But if not, LHS is more, RHS is less, okay, in that case, I don't know whether I have to increase the value of R2 or I need to decrease the value of this thing. Then I shall go for trial 2, say R2, probably 250. Please remember only if it is required. I don't know if they are exactly equal, then probably not required. 215 in ml. And, and find what is called as RHS. If this LHS and RHS, if it is increasing and it is, then probably you need to decrease. Okay? So, depending upon what is your LHS, what is the RHS corresponding to this, you need to decide whether you need to increase the value of R2 or whether you need to decrease the value of R2. You may take a couple of iterations, maybe say trial 1, trial 4, trial 3, trial 4, like that. Then finally you arrive at what is the value of R2. So once you know the value of R2, then find out what is alpha 2. Alpha 2, sin alpha 2 is equal to R2 minus RCU divided by LU. That is how you find out alpha 2. Similarly, sin beta 2, that is equal to R2 minus RCL divided by LL. So from that you find out beta 2. If you know alpha 2 and beta 2, then you can easily find out x12. And if you can find out x12, then the power of the governor can be found. I hope you have understood. Okay, so with the completion of this discussion, this problem may take some time. I wish you to solve it. Okay, and then maybe last another half an hour at the most, I shall try to wind up the, the remaining terms, only the terms definition point of view from the examination, and I shall explain those things, and then with that, we shall wind it up. Thank you. Good day.